It's been 13 days. 13 days since I've uploaded anything. Maybe, well, TikToks, I've had a couple of those. If you haven't already, check me out on TikTok. I post stupid shit on there all the time. Uh, just really cringy stuff. So, I mean, if you like cringy things, go to TikTok. I'm there. It's I think it's still bits and pieces, PT. You can check that out. But it's been 13 days. 13 days since I posted anything. Um, and you probably ask, what, are, what, have I, what have I been doing for the last few days? Well, quite a bit, actually. I've been pretty busy. Um, quite busy. There's something big that I can't talk about. Nothing, nothing that's going to make you guys really care. Uh, I'm sure. Nothing, nothing great. I've been, uh, you know, keeping up with my Pokemon stuff, uh, Pokemon cards, you know, picking up singles here and there. Um, I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. I haven't played any Elden Ring this week at all. I actually haven't really played any games this week, which is weird because I was playing Elden Ring nonstop. And that's the weird thing is as much as that game kicks my ass, I just keep on going to it. Got to the point where, you know, this is probably nothing to most people, but I'm like 40 hours into the game and I'm loving it. I, I love Elden Ring. I'll probably never beat this game, just like all the other Souls likes. I'll probably never beat it, but I'm having a lot of fun right now. Maybe, hopefully, I can beat it. But what I wanted to do, I wanted to kind of check in on everybody, see how everybody was doing. I know we have some games that just came out, you know, Dying Light 2, which I'm, I was playing that, uh, Pokemon Arceus, it's Ghostwire Tokyo, Horizon, Gran Turismo 7, which I hear that's a nightmare. Um, probably game gameplay-wise, it's probably great, but uh, the, the monetization and all that shit in the servers being down. It's kind of garbage. Um, I don't know why they released it in that state, but which I ha I don't play very many racing games. But but I did pick up the Mario Kart Deluxe DLC. And it was twenty four ninety nine for forty eight tracks throughout for the next couple years. It's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. And a lot of people's like, oh, Kart Nine. I'll take whatever I can get in Mario Kart. Honestly, you want to give me a live service platform Mario Kart don't do this please god don't do this um don't Nintendo don't don't fucking do it I'm telling you don't do it we don't do it I shouldn't have even blurted that out now Nintendo is going to see this video and you're like hey we're going to make a live certain oh my kid you're not going to see this video there's only going to be three or four people who watches this video But yeah, uh, I haven't got to play any of it yet, but I, you know, I did pick it up. Um, there's a few other games that's coming out. I, I'm so far behind in gaming right now. Like my backlog is just awful. You know, I, you know, I, I was stuck on Legend Arceus. I need to go back and finish Diamond and Diamond and Pearl. Um, you know, all these big games is coming. There are all these huge games, like forty to eighty to one hundred hour games. And, Man, like, I love gaming. I really do. But sometimes I just miss, like, that linear, non-open world story. You, you know, the games like Bioshock, Halo, which Halo's now open world. Every game that comes out has got some kind of open world. It's not bad. It's just, as a gamer, like, my age, you know, I've, you know, work in and all this other stuff. You know, it's kind of kind of hard to just stay stuck in these big open world 80 hour games. You know, I liked, you know, these 10, 5 to 10 hour experiences. Now, I didn't like spending $60 on a 5 hour game. But, you know, a lot of games, you know, to help, like Halo, you can beat most Halo games in 5 to 10 hours. Well, that's fine. If the game is great, if it's really good, like insanely good and it's got some component with it like multiplayer if it's really good they give it to me. give it to me i'll spend 60 dollars hell i'll spend 70 dollars if it's great 
If, it, if, it's, if it's a piece of shit, then no, fuck that. That's why I love Game Pass so much, but it's... Oh, no, you can't talk about Game Pass. That's, you're an Xbox fanboy. No, Game Pass is just really good. I'm just... You're an idiot if you don't think it's a great deal. It's a great deal. You don't spend that much money, you get access to a lot of games. I mean, if you're a Sony pony or something like that, and you're like, oh, you're terrible for liking Xbox. Dude, come on. Sony's getting ready to do the same thing with... What was it called? Spartacus? Is that is that the uh, code name for it? PlayStation's version of Game Pass? Which is going to happen. They're going, they they want to compete. They want to compete. They really do. I'm going on these tangents. Like I, I have so much I want to say. I'm just going on this big tangent of... I don't know. I don't know. So, things are happening at a fast pace in my life. Very fast paced, actually. Um, things I never expected to happen. Um, I'm getting back into church after years. I mean, you know, a long time ago, I wanted to be a preacher. This was like, this, my grandpa and him was alive. And this has been a long time, well past 10 years. I used to want to be a preacher. I used to be in church. I was raised going to church off and on. But I actually start going to church with my fiance. It's been pretty interesting. It's been pretty interesting so far. Um, you know, my big thing with like churches has always been like the judgmental people and the hypocrisy of a lot of people. But a lot of these people who go to this church are like me. They're just regular people that just go and they're having. You can tell these people are having fun. I ha I haven't seen anybody like cast judgment upon me. You know, there's no that no snickering and looking at you like you're a piece of shit it's just it's a pretty cool place you know i'm gonna probably keep going it's it makes me feel good you know this is somebody that's been an atheist for years i, I go from atheist to agnostic to atheist to you know back to christianity then you know i i'm back and forth on religion but it was pretty interesting nevertheless i actually i actually liked it i um, I'm gonna tell you what the church is called because I don't, you know. If you're if you're on the internet and you're white and you're straight and you're a Christian, you're the biggest piece of shit on the planet. Just, just saying, it's true. And we won't get into that because it's just another rabbit hole. But it's been interesting. The, the church thing's been cool. You know, playing some games has been cool. Taking a little break from things, trying to get myself back to normalcy. I'm, I'm trying to lose weight again, um, which I think I'm doing kind of good. I don't eat as much as I used to. You know, I had that, I had that surgery a couple years ago and I gained like 30 pounds back, which sucks, but I lost 70 and I got down to 298 and now I'm up to 316. So I, you know, I gained a little bit back and they said that's normal, but I don't want it to be normal. I want to go back to that, which sucks because I bought all these clothes. I don't buy myself clothes at all for years. I wore the same shit for years, but I bought all kinds of clothes. And now I'm just like, man, I, I shouldn't lose weight because if I lose weight, I'm going to have to buy all new clothes again. So yeah, there's that. You're probably, what's the point of this video? What's the point of it? It's just me talking to just give gives me a chance to make a video to say, hey guys, I'm still alive. Uh, I'm glad you're sticking around. Um, you know, I, I, I want to know what you guys are doing. Like, I, I'd love to hear from you. I really would love to hear from you. Um, I, I want to get something clear. So, I had a video I posted was last week where I was talking about creating a new channel. You know, in my head, I was thinking, you know, maybe I should start over from scratch. And I talked to some people on Reddit, and a lot of people told me not to do that. You know, I have nearly 800, 800 um, not followers, but videos since 2010. And sometimes I get single-digit, you know, views it's sad 
especially how long I've been doing it off and on. And I'm not saying my videos are that great to begin with. But I was getting depressed. I was getting really depressed. I'm just thinking of me, me, the work that I have put into it has not paid off on it. I want to try to not care, honestly. I want to not care. I want to have fun when I... And this is what brings me to my next thing. Is it, like, I, I want to get back into making videos. I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. I want to get back into making videos a lot. I really do. I want to get back to it. I want to make more, better videos. I want to try to get... I, I, I've always wanted to be a part of something big like this. In the gaming community, always. Like, my biggest dream in life was, hey, I want to be a part of the gaming industry, one way or the other. And one way, I thought, and I got this from Boogie2988, and I know I bring him up a lot. He was one of the people that made me want to do this. Because I was like, like here's this guy. He's depressed. He's an outcast. Hey, I'm depressed. I'm an outcast. I'm a big guy. And he made it. He made it. Though you can kind of say, well, he kind of fell off the, band, the bandwagon there. Everybody does. Everybody has problems. And I got something in my eye, dude. It sucks. But I want to be a part of something. I really do. I want to be somebody. I feel really lucky right now. I've got good things. I have a fiance that loves me. And I love her to death. I have a family. I have friends. Though I don't get to see my friends because I'm a shut in, I shut myself in. I don't talk to a lot of people. Maybe that's something I should fix, honestly. It's something I really should fix, to be honest. And lately, there's a lot of things in my life that's changing. And with that is the tone of some of my videos. You may have noticed the last few months, like, I've been talking about things that I never really talked about on this channel. You know, politics, gender identities, all that stuff. Something I never really thought about. And, you know, I, I watch a lot of videos lately. And, you know, the older I get, the more I get annoyed with things. Maybe I'm senile, I guess. No. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I want to be a part of things. I, I want to succeed. I do. I want to. I want to succeed. I want to be. I want to be somebody. I do. I want to be someone. Eventually. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for giving me a chance. I'm sorry this video was just me talking about what happened to my drink. There it is. Sorry. Um, just talking about random shit. I know it's stupid. I'm sure you don't want to hear me ramble, but it's something I like to do occasionally. And plus, I wanted to kind of let you guys know what I'm up to. There won't be a new channel. It's one thing I want to get at. There's not going to be a new channel. Bits and pieces will live on. It's going to be a thing. And we're just going to have to make it work. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.